Do 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 do. Oh, there's so many people here. Do, 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 hey, hello, how are you? I feel like I haven't gotten to, like, chat with you much recently. Are you off right now? Did I catch you at a good time? How are you? Okay, so I literally, like, pulled up here. There was, like, hardly anyone here. There were some cars, like, way over there. As soon as I pull up here, I, like, park way back up in this spot, back myself up into this private spot, and this truck pulls up, starts fishing, and then this other car full of, like, three fucking people pull up and pull right fucking beside me, like, literally parked in beside me when there's so many other spots, and they could hear me talking. It was so frustrating. I was, like, I don't know why, like, I just can't seem to avoid people, but anyways, just gonna do my thing. F is my signal sucking. I don't know why my signal sucks today. It's probably because it's cloudy. My freaking one wheel won't turn on. <laughs> Ruxy, what's up? So is it still a slideshow? I'm gonna try to ride to a spot where um, it's not, not a slideshow. Also, away from people. There's like a bunch of people where I am right now. <laughs> it's awkward. <laughs> Hello. Hi, Liv. Have a lovely day. Hope you catch a perfect sunset. Thanks, Nathan. I hope you have a lovely day as well. Um. Ah! <laughs> 883 salami hello i was feeling so uncomfortable because i literally like went parked um was like getting ready to start stream there was no one around and then everyone started pulling up like right beside me and it's just like so awkward because i parked my truck in a way that i could like chill on the truck bed for a little bit before i like went and rode down here but then like everyone was literally like pulling up and parking right beside me and I'm just like what the fuck and then they're just like chilling there so I'm like okay I guess I can't chill by my car like there's a million fucking places to park no one was fucking here and then every single person who pulls up is like oh I gotta park next to the girl in the bikini I'm like Jesus Christ like I literally like put this jacket on while I was sitting in my truck to try to like stop what was happening issues with signal um on the like way to this place if it's cloudy and today's pretty cloudy so 
I don't know guys, but once I get out here, I'll have good signal because it opens up and um, there's like some cell towers over there and shit. So we'll be good. You're like an angel moving through the air. Wow, thank you Starbucks. Hello, by the way. Why is it so hard to read chat while I'm writing? Runner, hello. The general public has a tendency to be abundantly annoying. Welcome to the chat room. Yeah, well, so my issue is like, I just feel like people, sometimes they will like drive around and they'll like drive past a chill spot and they won't think anything of it. Like they'll just drive past it and continue on. But then if they see like someone else sitting there enjoying the spot, they're like, oh, you know what, that looks like a chill time. Like that looks fine. Maybe I should go and chill there. And so it's like people always go where you are chilling because they're like, oh yeah, that, look, that looks like a good spot. Like, I don't know. It's just so annoying though because it was chill because it, you were by yourself and then when other people come, it's just like, I don't know. I like being in nature with you guys or like my friends and stuff but I don't like being surrounded by like a bunch of random people and especially people who are gonna like stare at me and judge me when I start doing my own thing like the worst part is when I get set up to stream and people all come and surround me when I was somewhere by myself and then they start like staring at me and judging me when I started streaming I'm like oh my god I was here by myself and then you showed up <gasps> look how pretty this spot is hold on Ooh. Is that a gator? Uh, how do I, why can't I flip the camera? All right. Maybe they thought it was dogging a situation. Admin, what are you talking about? Guys, is my signal getting better yet? Nix, hi Liv, hello, how are you? Raphael, you're amazing, how are you? Oh my god, a toaster not. Hello. I'm so sorry. I don't know if my signal's good right now. <laughs> um, I kind of went to a place that it's like very iffy, but I'm going somewhere where it gets better. How are you? Guys, a toaster not. We raided. Check out a toaster not on Twitch. We raided yesterday and the stream was amazing and beautiful and the background was so cute and there were good vibes and there was dead by daylight i'm trying to think of like everything that's happened oh my gosh it's so beautiful all right look you ready chat this is a chill spot this is a chill spot where you can go and swim with gators if you really feel it just go down these stairs and you just swim with gators because that's the only thing I can think of that you'd be doing with these freaking stairs. I guess fishing there? It looks like you're just like literally sacrificing yourself to gaze. Oh yeah, of course we're being followed. <sighs> I hate when I try to go out to a spot by myself and people follow me. <sighs> Sorry I'm so lonely. Wish I was just walking with you. Oh games, well don't be, we can be less lonely if we're all here together. Hey stream went well, so glad I can Catch an outdoor pub stream. Hell yeah. Lots of those around here. I mainly stream outside because I get really bored. <laughs> I get bored if I sit down for too long. So we go out because you never know what could happen or who the fuck's gonna follow me down a trail and try to talk to me. Like this fucking guy. Bitch, my one wheel can outrun you. Fuck off. <laughs> going a whole 20 miles oh my god gonna die going like 20 miles no i'm not going 20 miles per hour maybe 8 to 10 i'm kind of a pussy if i'm not wearing the right shoes while you're riding is awesome thank you Raphael. like your belly chain oh my gosh i love it too thank you i bought it the other day and i've been dying to wear it and every time i put it on with a bathing suit brex i was like mm, um, and today I put on with this one. He's like, kind of matches. I was like, yes. Oh my God, look. Ah! Birdie! Baby, come back. All right. This is where we were heading to. I hope that guy who's been following me doesn't follow me out here because it'd be really fucking awkward because we're kind of at the end of the line here. So I hope he fucks off. 
Um, but yeah, this is where I want to chill. The sunset's really pretty here. Um, it's like more high tide than I have seen before. This looks so, um, this looks very easy for a gator. Ah! Oh my god. Ah! Talking about gators, Silent and then you guys were. Ungifted a tier one sub to a Stostanort. They have given 345 gift subs in the channel. <laughs> Silent Crown, thank you so much for 345 gifted subs, guys. Can we have some live stabs and live loves for Silent Crown? As toes are now welcome to the kingdom, guys. Live stabs, live loves. Uh, Silent Crown, did you enjoy the stream yesterday? Is that why? <laughs> hey there, cutie. Hello, blonde. How are you? Little Rocky, hello. Why you gotta be so freaking lovely? Honey, well, hopefully the gators don't find me lovely because normally there's less, um, less dirt here. It normally goes out farther and there's kind of like these big like rock things, but they're kind of slippery. So they're padded, but also you might fuck yourself up if you're unlucky. Also, there is a guy following me. So when he comes out here, I'm going to show the camera on him. And if he tries to kill me, everyone message Braxton on Discord because he's video gaming and hopefully he'll see it. All right. Um, and tell him I made it to the end. All right. <gasps> Beautiful. <laughs> Is my one wheel gonna get stolen? Hopefully not. All right, let's go. Oh, it's so beautiful. Oh, here, see, this is what I mean. They're like rocks, but they're cushiony. Oh, I love it right here. Guys, Um, let's see. Let me get myself adjusted. Where is Kennedy Space Center? Is it, oh shit, where am I? Okay, hold on, that is, this is, is that a gate? Oh my God. I saw darkness in the water out of the corner of my eye. Whoo! Scared the shit out of me. <laughs> oh my God. Love your swimsuit here. Thank you, Duvold. I'm going to find a place because I'm going to sell out my blank. I hope I can find a dry place. I kind of wanted to like lay out. The sun is not really out today. Braxton was con trying to convince me. Oh my gosh. This is so weird. I've never seen the water this high. I feel like I could just like walk right out there. <sighs> I would if I wasn't terrified of gators here. I have seen so many gators. Also, I think I just found a jellyfish. Is that what that is? Ah! What is that? Okay. It looks like an alien. Daddy Ding, what's good? When men see a woman not wearing much alone in a parking lot, they might assume it'd be a dogging situation. I hate when that is what guys assume because, you know, a lot of times when women go out, they are going out to do something specific. They're not just like sitting there, just like hoping some random man finds them alone in a vulnerable situation and like approaches them. And normally they're normally they're like going somewhere and when they're alone they feel slightly uncomfortable, especially if, you know, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Uh look guys. It's so pretty. Wrestling Gators, I did when I was in Tampa. Oh my gosh, wait, what? You've actually wrestled Gators? Oh my god, that is badass. I'm from Florida, I just make jokes about wrestling Gators. I don't actually do it. Um, Hey, someone followed me out to the very end. They you out? Yeah, some guy on a bike like literally followed me all the way out and he's just like standing there awkwardly looking around. Okay. Wait, I feel nauseous. Oh, I don't know why this always happens. <laughs> Yeah, I just, I'm so over this happening. 
Like, this is why I didn't go to the other beach. <laughs> I just don't know why, like, every man in Florida is creepy these days. <laughs> He's wearing a green shirt, long hair, and a hat. Skinny. Green shirt, long hair. Ponytail. Shorts. On a bike. Alright, love you, bye. Amazing belly chain. Thank you guys. It's like swimming in sludge. Yuck. Yeah, that's what I was saying. Like normally the dirt doesn't really go up this high. It's because it's been raining a lot. I guess there's been some flooding that's like pushed the sand up onto these like rocks here. And um, yeah, I don't know. Hello. Hello. <laughs> but yeah, there's a jellyfish. Um, where did he go? I literally saw the jellyfish a minute ago. Can we put it back in the water? It's dying. Um, I'm not going to touch the jellyfish. There's like ones that don't have these like long tentacles. And then there's ones that have, they're just like a jelly on top. Those you can touch and it doesn't really like hurt you but then the ones that have like the long tentacles those are the ones that will sting you I actually don't I like literally lost it I don't know what happened to it me too big strong why is this always a thing big strong it does it really does snakes I'm all right it's just you know a thing should leave make sure he's not following you Like this is very and he's right beside my water. Life lesson for everyone. Just call the cops to be honest, they won't mind. Well, Braxton is less than a mile away. He's about half a mile away and he has a, a motorcycle. He has a BMW GS that he can get out here. Like he can ride all the way out here, out here. Most people can't drive out here, but he can. So he'll be here any minute. Um, that's why I called him. He would be here quicker than the police. And also, I mean, the guy didn't really do anything other than like creepily follow me out to the middle of nowhere where there's no one else for absolutely no reason. He's riding back now. Did have a mullet. He has this like long hair with a ponytail. Jess is a solid adventure bike. Yeah, he's leaving, but I'm gonna let Braxton come out here just so the guy sees that like um, because I think that guy heard me call someone just to show him that I had someone quickly. So if he wants to fuck around, he's gonna get fucked the fuck up because Braxton's 6'4 and he looks scary as fuck. And I see Braxton already running up. Okay, anyways. Why don't you carry? Because Braxton can do it for me right now. <laughs> I literally travel with him all the time. We live out of a camper together. He's six four. He's like my security. So he doesn't like let me go to places like this without him being nearby. Mountain bike, so maybe he's touring around. Touring around, this isn't <laughs> okay. He literally, let me explain to you the situation here. All right, this is like very secluded, it's a very private place, it's near a residential area. All right, you don't know about it unless you live over here. First of all, I go here all the time, I've never seen that guy. He, like, though, there is like a popular fishing place up farther 
where I was earlier and that's where he was he like saw me chilling in the truck by myself and he saw me like coming out here and he saw me in a bathing suit and stuff and he like rode all the way out I went to that boardwalk he like stopped literally watched me on his bike and then when I continued all the way down he continued right here even though so it ends right here like the trail ends here but then it can also go to the side that way and there's like a little bit more trail there he came all the way down here stopped right where I was didn't even try to continue down the trail literally stopped right there and just watched me Yeah, he, uh, like, I just kept, like, kind of putting the camera on him, and I think he got the hint that I was filming him and, like, interacting with people. He stopped up there until I started to come up. I know! I saw him! He went back up there and then stopped right at that boardwalk. He, okay, I was down at the parking lot, and he was down there. That's where he was. He was way the fuck down there. I doubt he even knew there was a trail back here, because I was parked in front of the fucking gate. Like, you can't see the trail. And... Uh, when he saw me... I, don't know. I can't be out here, so are you okay? There was a lot of people up there. I could be in big trouble for being out here on the bike. So are you okay? Yeah. Can I leave? Yeah, I'm just telling you. I know. I'm just letting you know. I can't be out here now. Alright, bye. You're okay? Are you scared? Um, I get a little creeped out when there's like a lot of areas to go and someone like specifically follows like a girl by themselves. It's just really fucking weird to do that, okay? Like, it, there's a lot of places here to go. You don't have to like follow me, the one fucking female, like, who's not fishing, like, he came really far out here, too, he followed me specifically to the spot, and then stopped and watched me here, I'm at a literal dead end, I have nowhere to go, I went out here, he was chilling over there, just, like, cornering me, and then came out here right by my one wheel, which is how I rode out here, like, I can go faster than him on that, but he literally went and stood right by my one wheel, and was, like, taking pictures, and I'm, like, stuck over there with nowhere to go, it's literally fucking water, like, it's a little uncomfortable, and the dude's wearing, like, dark-ass sunglasses, and it's an overcast fucking day, like, I'm a ginger, and I'm not wearing sunscreen, like, it's not that fucking sunny, champ, you don't need sunglasses, and then he's wearing, like, a dark, like, a hat, and it's just weird. Why? Why are you following me out here? This happens a lot. If you call the cops too much, they won't take you serious one-on-one. -on -one. Yeah, it's just like, also, I don't, I don't want to call unless it's like something serious. And also like, Braxton is perfectly capable of coming out here and scaring people. Literally any time I have, I, every time that I have had a creepy experience where I felt like I'm being like followed or I'm just like put in an uncomfortable position. If I call Braxton and he comes out here every single time, whatever guy was creeping me out always leaves. And that's how I like verify in my head that it's right of me to have these feelings because why the fuck would you peace out as soon as like some guy shows up? Like if you're minding your own business and you're not out there to like fuck and like fuck with the girl that's by herself and creep on her, then why are you peacing out as soon as someone else comes, you know? Who's like bigger than you? <sighs> no, he's not fishing. He doesn't have a fishing rod. It's a crime to give preferential treatment. Dispatch would lose their job. That's true. They should have to come out no matter what. Shelly feeling the same way Liv's feeling because of the guy behind her. Devold, I appreciate you guys. I'm sorry I get nervous, but like, here's the thing. You can't take those situations lightly because like, that's when something goes bad like it's better to just be on the cautious side than you know not able to be on any side things infinite he's probably what does that lady doing it doesn't matter you don't go and corner her in the middle of fucking nowhere and obviously creep her out i was literally talking loudly about how i was creeped out this kid saw her and was supposed to not look he followed me out to the middle of nowhere Holy shit, that bruise. Oh, yes. 
Yes, this is a bruise on my leg. Um, it actually looks a lot better than it did yesterday. And it's kind of weird because there's this like line going through it, which I don't know where the fuck that came from. But uh, yesterday on stream, I kept applying this like Arnicare stuff, which is like a bruise cream that uh, Chloe suggested to me. And even though the bruise is like huge and looks disgusting, it's actually less vibrant than it was before. So live in a bikini, this would be a great day. But Tong, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. He did mind his own business. You guys will never, never fail to defend the guy that I'm creeped out from. Like, there will always be one person in a chat defending the person that's completely creeping me out. And it's okay. Like, I definitely, that's why I don't call, I didn't call the police. That's why I called Braxton. Like, I'm not, like, automatically, like, accusing the guy of something. I'm not going to send the cops out here and have them go and question the guy and, like, you know, whatever comes out of that. Like, I'm not accusing him. I'm just saying, hey, Braxton, I'm out in the middle of fucking nowhere just got cornered some guy just followed me out here he's dressed a little sketch like being a little sketch like acting kind of off like following me there's a lot of places he could be but he followed me out here and I'm just gonna tell you what he's wearing and where I am you know in case you don't fucking hear from me again like you guys give me so much hate for literally just like taking care of myself like I understand you're a man and you've never had to deal with this but like good for you and good for you like <laughs> I mean what do you want me to say <laughs> sure he is capable it doesn't matter what he gets there in time your paranoia is validated that dude is a creep I just have had like actually creepy experiences so I'm just I just don't let myself get put in those situations again. Like, I don't know what's wrong with that. <laughs> Thank you, Devold. Why was he there in the first place? That's what I'm saying. So, like, I'm trying to explain to you guys. It's hard to explain to you where exactly I am. Like, this isn't... It's a beach because there's, like, sand and it's waterfront. And we're going to be able... I mean, I guess we're not going to probably see the sunset because it is a cloudy fucking bitch. But, um, normally this is a great place to see the sunset, but this is near like a private, like a residential area. Only people who live out here know about this place. Um, like there's a fishing place nearby, but most people don't know about trails here. And there's like this trail like goes out to here. It's a dead end. And then there's the only other thing is like a trail over here to the side. He followed me to the dead end and like literally follows me to the end of the dead end where it's literally just me and him by ourselves and we're like far out here and there's no one else out here. Like he knows that for a fact that there's no one else out here. It's hard to get out here. He had a bike. I had a one wheel. Like most people don't come this far because it's a far walk and you can't drive out here. <laughs> Braxton only got out here because he has a motorcycle and he's able to go through the gate. That's why he didn't stay. That's why he just checked on me and like made the guy see that he could come here quickly and then left Ugh. he was just chilling as the guy they won't ever understand alex i appreciate you for getting that though i really do Ugh. i know basically i do have like things i just can't really like go into things on twitch because they're like really weird about that like i do want to do some shooting range streams and show you guys like some of the stuff that i have but <laughs> um yeah have we passed the handstand yet i don't know if i'm gonna do a headstand saw he could she called someone and bailed he minded his own business because he saw she called someone and bailed that's the other thing you guys are like oh he minded his business hey i literally put the camera on him and he could see that like i literally faced the camera to him and was clearly talking to people and pulled out a second phone which he saw me pull out and was like talking like i mean i was talking not quiet but not I wasn't being loud, but I wasn't being very quiet. Like, he was standing right there. He probably heard me. And I literally explained his outfit. I was like, he's wearing sunglasses, long hair, da 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 Like, obviously, I'm creeped out by you, you know? Like, if a girl's doing that and she's out, you're, you're out by yourself in the middle of the woods and you, like, followed her to a specific spot and she's, like, clearly creeped out, just be like, 
I mean, he didn't even do anything to like even try to like console the anxiety I was having. I was like shaking a little bit. Uh, people are so annoying. Thank you, Brittany. I think he wanted to meet you, but could not find a good pickup line for a hot ginger girl. Well, you know, maybe just try using words. Don't just like awkwardly fall her out to the middle of nowhere and not say anything. And you know, wear glasses on a cloudy day with your like hat, you know, covering your eyes and looking fucking sketch as shit. <gasps> Bonjour, thank you. <laughs> like I've said before, I can go for a run at night with headphones, but my little sister can't, it breaks my heart. I remember you saying that, Badonk, and I was actually thinking about that when I was in uh, California because um, one of my sister's friends, she was like telling me that she goes for a run a lot. And um, they live in, like, a really nice neighborhood. So, like, I get why she can do it, but, like, for the most part, I haven't been in places where I feel un I feel comfortable enough to go for a run at night. Like, the most of the time, if it gets dark out, I'm just like, yep, missed my opportunity. Unless I can get someone to go with me. Like, the only time I feel like I can go out is, like, if it's, it's the sun is up enough. Braxton's calling me. Hello? He left? Oh, did he see you waiting for him? So, what did he do? What did he do when he got up there? How long did he take to go back? Uh huh. Yeah, it was weird. He was walking his bike, like, to leave, whereas when he came out here, he rode it the whole time, like, trying to keep up with me. Like, he was, like, taking his sweet-ass time. Uh-huh. And what? And then he left. So he, like... He saw you watch him until he got in his car. What the hell? I told you, it's weird. He didn't even, he literally pulled up. He didn't even go anywhere until I got out and started walking. Then he followed me out here. And then when he stayed out here, then when he heard me call, he started to leave. Then he left when you came out here, went back and got in his car. Didn't go anywhere else. All the trails out here, the only place that he went was where I went. And followed me out to a fucking dead end and cornered me and then stood by my one wheel. It was so creepy. But anyways, thank you. All right, all right, thank you, I love you. Bye. Damn, what's with the bruises? Um, I slacklined the other day on stream and I fell and it was extremely fucking painful. And yeah, I've been using bruise cream, but the bruises are still, they're still there. I bruise like a freaking banana and yeah, I'm working on it. It's just, it's a process. TTV, what's up? How are you? Does pineapple go on pizza? Absolutely. abso fucking -lutely. It's a pretty cool spot, isn't it? This is why I wanted to come here. I was hoping that I would be out here by myself. I was supposed to be because no one ever fucking is out here because no one knows of the spot. Um, 100% right. I never stopped doing it. Thank you. The balancing things abused you. I know, guys. I was going to do... I was gonna slackline again yesterday, but it rained all day, so I did end up getting to do it, but it's probably good because honestly, I probably needed a break from slacklining. <laughs> um, hold up, let's see, I have this bruise cream. I haven't used it today. I'm supposed to use it like as much as possible. I actually do think that it made the color less bright, but I feel like the bruise almost spread a little bit. <laughs> like I. I feel like it's huge right now. It looks ridiculous. My man I have dealed with this once turned out the woman was on drug and had drugs and had warrants. Yeah, I feel like guys like don't deal with it that often, but obviously like there are some instances where like guys deal with creepy creepy situations. But it's it's a little frustrating because sometimes guys will like 
say things to girls when they're, like, a, explaining a creepy situation they had. And they'll be like, oh, well, maybe it was just this or whatever. It's like, first of all, like, if you haven't been in the situation, it's, like, really hard for you to understand it. Like, you guys try to give guys the benefit of doubt, but it's like, if someone has a really bad gut feeling, a lot of times it's for a reason. <sighs> And it's just, like, you don't experience it, so maybe you shouldn't, like, I don't know. Just, just be sympathetic. <laughs> Privacy, that's what makes me mad. Johnny, me too! <laughs> Protect yourself by means necessary. It's on film. Yeah, that's why I always put people on the camera, like, if they creep me out. <laughs> Lil Rocky, hello, how are you? Hi, how's your day going? P.S. Nice. Oh, uh, thanks, Andrew. My day is going great. Um, I obviously wanted to get an earlier start today, but I always have a hard time figuring out what the fuck I'm going to do when it's like this outside. It was raining a little bit earlier, so I'm like, okay, is it raining today or not? Because originally the forecast said it was going to rain today, and then I checked it this morning and it said it wasn't, but then I went outside and there were a bunch of rain clouds, and I'm like, I don't know. Like, I just don't know what I should do. And, like, I had a few ideas for indoor streams, but honestly, if I can go outside and not do an indoor stream, I'm going to go outside and not do that because it's just like boring to me a little bit, you know, I don't know. Thank you, Markin. Lonely, you're a heartbreaker, not me. I don't do anything. <laughs> Braxton and then he bailed, creepy guy. Braxton didn't bail. Braxton went out there and waited for the guy. So this is what happened. The guy turned around whenever I called and, like, explained him and everything. And even though he rode his bike all the way out here, like, booking it, he walked it all the way back, stopped at that little boardwalk, and, like, just stood there and waited. So I don't know if he was, like, waiting to see if someone was coming out here or what because he heard me call. Um, and then Braxton came by, and Braxton passed him by the boardwalk, and he, like, waved at Braxton, and Braxton came down here. And then he continued to, like, start to walk his bike again, which is so weird because he rode it out here. Like, he's capable of riding the bike, but he just is walking. And Braxton had to go back because he's not really, like, supposed to be out here on his motorcycle. So he went back, and he just, like, waited out by the end. And instead of the guy riding back, he decides to walk his bike back the whole freaking way. And then Braxton said he just, like, put his bike in his truck and just, like, sat there for a while so Braxton was just like circling around in the parking lot and he said he like literally waited till the guy left but the guy just like sat there for a while which is so funny because like I said the guy literally came out here for nothing other than like to book it out here follow me out be creepy wait around and then leave as soon as yeah it's just it's weird TTV what's up you live in a retired community where a lot of men go to trails to do stuff. Maybe he saw an opportunity. I mean, I don't know if this is, like, necessarily a retired community, but there are definitely a lot of, like, older men who fish out here a lot. And, I mean, I wouldn't be surprised. Like, earlier I pulled up and I, like, parked in a spot where people don't normally park. There's, like, another parking lot. There are only people over there. And, like, some guy pulled up right near me and he started fishing. And he was, like, facing right near me fishing. Which, like, I'm kind of used to that. I feel like guys do that a lot. They see, like, a single girl by, like, or not single, but, like, a girl by herself. And they'll, like, park nearby. But that guy wasn't being creepy. He wasn't staring at me. So I don't, I didn't really give that many fucks about that. I even, like, waved at him when I got out. But it's the people who just, like or extra creepy, <laughs> you know? And I don't live in a retired community. I live in a camper. I'm just parked out here. I like your Elton John quote on your leg. This is not an Elton John quote on my leg. The quote on my leg is a Marilyn Monroe quote, and it says, it's better to be absolutely ridiculous rather than absolutely boring. Do, 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 do. All right. I feel like the background's level-ish, kind of. 
Guys, if you see a gator creeping up on me, you're going to let me know, right? Because even though I don't think a gator's going to creep up, up on me, it totally could right here. Like, there are gators that hang out in this canal right there. And when you're just, like, laying here looking all small and easy to creep up on, I feel like they might start getting ideas. <laughs> nasty that's why i wore yesterday i was going to wear um like tights but i freaking hate wearing pants like i like wearing shorts or bathing suits i i don't like my whole legs being restricted i don't know why but anyways yesterday i was like maybe i should wear some tights to like cover up my bruises because they look freaking awful and so then instead I decided to wear my knee highs. And then today I was looking at my bruise and I'm like, fuck, you're still there. But I'm just going to embrace them. This is just, you know, a time in my life when a slack line freaking assaulted me. How are you, lonely stoner boy, by the way? Oh, Mark Ann, you're so sweet. True Italian, someone put pizza, pineapple on pizza. Well, I am actually a little bit Italian, and I like pineapple on pizza, so we don't pineapple some pizza, but we do not mad at anyone. Wait, Silent Ground, you're mad at me for putting pineapples on pizza? Oh, thank you, Infinite. I haven't worn this bathing suit in a while. I always forget it exists. He was probably wondering why someone would bathe by a river. Well... Um, I was more gonna tan by the river. I wasn't really gonna bathe too much. I mean, I thought about, like, getting in a little bit possibly but I mean I wasn't gonna do too much because I'm not trying to be gator food it's just that I okay I, I've told you guys this before but I used to have this dream over and over again when I was younger and it was where I was at my old friend's house with my sister and we were he used to have this like porch that went to this raised swimming pool and then he had this big yard and in Florida if it we have hurricanes or something sometimes our yards get completely flooded and one time I went over to his house and like we went out to swim in his pool and then his yard was also flooded so it almost felt like we were swimming in a pool but next to like this big swamp and it was so creepy because in Florida when you're little like all you think about is like dying to an alligator and so I guess I ended up like having these nightmares of my sister and our friend Christopher all swimming in his backyard and in my dream there was this like massive gator chasing us and like I was the youngest out of Christopher Haley and myself and we used to play like tag and shit and they used to like make me be it and they would say like olivia you're it go count and they would say we're only playing outside inside's off limits and then they would go inside and like play video games for an hour while i was outside looking for them so fucking rude but anyways um there was this gator chasing us and my sister and Christopher left me as always and they like found this big tree leaning over the water and they were like climbing up and there's this massive gator chasing me and I'm freaking out and I'm swimming as fast as I can and I put my arm out and I'm like Haley grab mine and Christopher's holding on to Haley and Haley reaches out and she grabs my hand and as she does I look back and I see the massive gator trying to grab me and then I fucking wake up and I have had this dream multiple times every time it's like I get a little farther and farther to where I'm being saved like I'm a little closer to being out of the water and then I just fucking went up and I'm like does that mean I died like I don't know I would like to just survive this fucking dream for once in my lifetime so that way I know what I'm supposed to do when this happens in real life because this is obviously trying to tell me something so I feel like my way that I am probably going to go is by gator and I really don't want to talk about it right now but it's just something I've had in my head and yeah don't take any chances we need to leave Florida now as I sit in a swamp next to a fucking gator habitat. <sighs> and there's this like piece of wood sticking out of the water over there. And bro, it looks like the biggest gator. And every time I see a corn I'm like, but then I realize I'm good. I'm fine. We're not going to die. We got this. We're fine. You should have bruises cards on you with your links to give out those creeps. 
business cards on you. Actually, Braxton has told me that before, too. He's always like, oh, the, like, guys who, like, follow you and they're really creepy. You should just, like, give them, like, your Instagram or something. And I personally don't like that idea because I think it's, like, invites the really creepy behavior. Because, like, most of the time, like, the people, most of the time people who are, like, approaching me, I don't know. Sometimes people approach me on the stream in a really polite way, I guess. Or in public in a really polite way. Like, the guy at the dispensary the other day, he flirted with me. And he was really polite. So, I would have given him my stuff. But, as far as, like, you know, dude following me into the middle of the woods and being creepy as hell, I'm not going to be like, oh, hey, by the way, check out my Instagram. You know? I'm going to be like, oh, actually, I go to church every Saturday or Sunday. Sorry, I'm at Venice. Anyways. Um, uh, and I uh, do all these good things. Let me tell you about myself so that you don't want to fucking kill me. <sighs> Thanks, Infinite. Your tattoo is very beautiful. Thank you, Holly. This is my favorite tattoo. Silent ground and chat. Pay for it. <laughs> I got it on stream. There is this really pretty bird that just flew by. Mark Ann, here's a virtual hug for you. Wasn't the, the wasn't his fishing stream? The guy wasn't fishing. Your alerts are off. I gifted a sub during the drama. Wait, yeah, to ask a toast or not. And I saw it and I thanked you. It was like 300 and four, 345 gifted subs or something like that crazy, right? Or did you do another one that I missed? I could have sworn my sub alerts are on, but maybe I missed something. <coughs> How's the national, uh, Andrew? I didn't actually, like, I mean, I just, like, did photography, you know, but it was a good day. How was your day? Why dare you hang out then? Gators are fast. Because, chat, if you don't ever live on the edge, then did you even live your life, you know? If you didn't go and sit next to the gator water and talk about how you're scared of gators why are there vultures do they know something i don't know <laughs> come, 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 come. your body thank you infinite dreams containing a bit of truth that's what scares me what's the dark spot on the leg where i annihilated myself slacklining on stream it was rough it hurt stay away from alligator water now, chat, you know what? You know what, chat? I think it's a great idea to hang out next to alligator water. I think that if the alligators can sense that we're not scared of them, then maybe instead of them being hostile and eating people, maybe they'll come out here and form a genuine relationship with me and we'll get to know each other and I'll become an alligator whisperer and I can walk around on streams with alligators and they can just be like my homies and I'll feed them they don't have to hurt me if I feed them because then they're happy you know right is that how that works <laughs> Liv say your middle name's Dundee no 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 I'm Olive Irwin reporting for duty <laughs> Lucky, I act like it, but I don't know. What do you think? What happened to your leg? Oh, thank you, Infinite. Okay, so I was slacklining. Maybe you guys don't realize what slacklining is because I feel like I've explained this multiple times. Basically, I like took a ratchet strap, right? And I like put it between two trees and I put it really tight so where there's no slack. And then I got on it like a fucking ninja slash ballerina with jazz hands and I walked it like a balanced queen and then something flew out of the air and must have knocked me off because I don't know what happened and I like flew flipped smacked my body gave myself sand rash on my ash cheeks gave myself a big bruise have some more bruises here and I was extremely sore the next day. But obviously that wasn't due to lack of talent. That was due to outside factors that have nothing to do with me. So, yeah, that's what happened. I'm okay. It's just I'm clumsy. And I bruise easily. So, it's fine, Chad. Don't worry about it. 
Doom Surgeon. I like Jelly Dancers extra jelly. What? 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 Um, those tats were both dope moments. Yeah, I also got this tattoo on stream too. I got this one and this one. My two that I've had since I started streaming, I got both of them on stream. I'm probably going to get this one removed, and I kind of want to see if I can get it removed on stream. <laughs> ah, la, la, la. Thank you, Infinite. Thank you, thank you. Hi, Liv6. I'm from Toastream from last night. <gasps> Biohybrid, hello! I felt like so awkward because I, I feel like I said something that like confused everyone. And I was like, oh my god, Braxton, do I sound like such a creep right now? But I just like for some reason uh, assume that she knew what I was talking about. <laughs> but um, Toast is super cool. Welcome, Bio. How are you? Today is chill. Um, I would have like gone out to try to do more, but it's been looking like it was going to pour all day. So I'm really close to where I can just like hop on my one wheel, ride it to my truck and dip if it starts pouring. But um, normally we just do like random outdoor IRL stuff. I live out of a camper. Sometimes I do streams out of my camper. I used to travel out of my, uh, a roof, out of a rooftop tent <laughs> with my Subaru. Put my one wheel back here so that, um, no no people can show up and corner me here without my uh transportation like that guy did earlier what's your fave fast food um ah! i don't know i feel like when i was younger it used to be taco bell but now i don't really like fuck with that that much um I don't know. I like gyros from Arby's, I suppose, but I don't really like, I don't really fuck with fast food that much because when we were living out of the tent, we got a lot of fast food traveling all the time. So like now that I have the camper and I have a kitchen, I just don't really want it because I don't have to have it, you know, <laughs> like whenever it becomes something you have a lot, you're just kind of over it. You're like, okay, let's, let's move on. You can go swimming with man rays and get stabbed in the heart. Guys, what the fuck? I'm Olive Irwin who doesn't die. The Ant Man, hello, welcome back. How are you today? What is good? Walking a top tight rope that's not so tight. Well, it's supposed to be tight. It's supposed to be easier when it's tight, but if it wasn't tight, we fucked up setting it up. Dude, that boat sounds so loud, but it's actually really far away. I like air see those bruises and be like, man, I'm not eating rotten flesh. Okay, so this is my safety. This is how I need to go out. You know, there's like a big ass lump here too. It's probably all like bloody and shit in there. I wonder if I would see a gator creeping up. I feel like I can see dark spots, but it depends how fucking sneaky they are. Like if it was really sneaky, I don't know. If, if a gator creeps up on me, I know what I'm gonna do, chat. I have my, uh, I have my tripod here. It's just like a big metal tripod. I'll just like give myself some length and I'll just like go like that at it. It'll probably like grab it, rip it out of my hands and just like drag me in. Oh my God. We need to stop talking about this. <laughs> oh, all right, I'm already, I'm already setting up my gator defenses. All right, hopefully I remember to grab it. <laughs> Things infinite. That trailer we saw a glider or a sailplane? You saw it was a glider or a sailplane. Oh, last night, the, the story that I posted on my Instagram story. Dude, okay, I realized later that it was probably just like some regular small plane. But at first, I we were in like this parking lot that it was just like hidden and it was so random and it was just parked there with no locks on the hitch or anything i was like who the fuck just like has a plane enclosed in this weird case and there's a hitch here with no lock on it like i don't know it's so weird to me i thought it was an alien spaceship i thought when we pulled up it was gonna like open up and aliens were gonna come out i was freaking the fuck out i always think that aliens are just gonna appear and take me like even last night i went for a walk and it was like 1 a.m and I was walking out here 
and it was dark as hell. Like, it's so dark out here. It's just, like, gators and darkness. And then I just saw this, like, bright-ass light coming from out here. I heard this buzzing. And I looked at Braxton. I'm like, do you think it's aliens? And he's like, I don't know. There shouldn't be anything out here. And I was like, let's go investigate. And we came all the way out here, and I have no idea what it was. But, yeah. Oh, oh it's a mullet. <laughs> Nice beach. Thanks. Watch out for the swamp thing. The gators. Happy chill Sunday. Shoddy. Happy chill Sunday to you. Guys, I wanted to stream longer today, but I got started late. Is it late? Okay, wait, wait. We have like two hours of sun. It just feels late. I feel like I'm losing my sun. It's so dark out. It's looked like it's going to rain all day here in Florida. But it hasn't rained at all. And I already hear the crickets and it's only 4.30. <gasps> and there's a bumblebee! He's landing on my jacket. Is it because you like my perfume? I have, I think, perfume that smells like flowers on that jacket. It's this body spray. I got so much body spray for Christmas. I was like, are people trying to tell me something? Like, I literally have six bottles of bottle spray. I'm, or body spray. I'm like, Jesus Christ. I go through the stuff so slow. Ugh. Good streaming is acting up, so trying to fight through it. Oh, Biohybrid, you stream too? What do you stream? Well, I have something to live. Wait, what are you talking about? I'm so behind in chat. I'm sorry, guys. I'm only asking because you're on the road a lot. Yeah, but I haven't been on the road, like, as much recently just because we've been, like, trying to get tired. So we've just been camping really in the same place. And we've been getting, like, groceries and cooking a lot. And also, we're, like, camping outside of Braxton's parents' house. Like, we're using their power, and we have a repeater, so we're using their internet. That's why I'm able to do, like, 4K streams and stuff right now. Um, and sometimes when they're not there, we'll, like, go into their house and cook our food in there because, like, we have tanks and stuff. So if we, like, do dishes and stuff like that inside, eventually we're going to fill up our tanks and we're going to have to, like move our camper and go and do that stuff so we've been trying to avoid things like that if we can so like I've been showering a lot in their house which they have a super nice shower so I love it and then I've been also like cooking and doing dishes a lot in their house and hanging out with them like in the evenings and stuff so we've been cooking a lot recently and just like hanging out with them You are able to read your Discord real quick. I can. What's up? Hey, love you. Looking smoking as usual. I really like your swimsuit. How are you, my love? Well, Coop, I'm so behind in chat, but hello. People are like chanting and stuff. Oh my God, what are they doing? Well, Coop, lives, dabs, lives, loves. Thank you so much for the hundred biddies. I appreciate you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I've been well. I hope you've been well. I've been streaming a lot, keeping to a schedule, which has actually helped me just like, I feel like I've been streaming a lot more, doing a lot more photography and had more time for myself. Who knew a schedule would be so good for me, guys? <laughs> How magical and stylish live doing today. Ah, oh, dance! You're so sweet to me. Tripod gets a bonus hit versus gators. I'm hopefully going to get multiple hits out of it, you know, or it will run off after one and I'll be able to be free. Jess, hello, how are you? I wish aliens would take me from this fucked world. Silent Ground, no. Guys, is my quality bad or good right now? I hear a lot of bugs. Yeah, there's a lot of crickets around here. It's very wet and green. There's a lot of birds and random things. Can you show your leg tattoo and what it says? My leg tattoo says it's better to be absolutely ridiculous rather than absolutely boring. Is that your one wheel? This is my one wheel, Andrew. My one wheel. I wonder if I can ride it out here. It's like really wet and mushy. Woo! Goodbye, world. Ah! Okay, I'm not gonna go anywhere, actually. It's too wet and mushy. There's like people pulling up on me on their boat. I don't know why people always have to be right where I am. Like, there's just so many areas on this river to chill, and you're gonna pull up to this one little fucking spot right where I am. 
I don't know why, 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 why. <laughs> what would you do if a guy there came there and approached you right now? I'll probably call Braxton like I did last time because it's really creepy and weird because there's a million places to be. So why go to this one spot that I am at and hang out right beside me? They have a family, so I'm actually less creeped out. I hear kids. That's, they're probably just fishing there. <laughs> How's the weather? Uh, K-Hunt, apparently, like, St. Augustine area, a little bit north of uh, Florida, apparently it's been, like, downpouring and kind of whatever. But here it's just been this, like, really cloudy and overcast. Um, it rained a bunch yesterday, but the high 69 today actually feels like... I feel pretty warm. <laughs> Like, I feel like it probably feels around 73 or something. It feels good. It's very humid. So, honestly, like, the only thing I would want to do outside is be in a bathing suit and just chill out. Because other than that, I would just feel a little bit gross and icky. But it's, it's chill like this, being on the water. It's really pretty. I'm about five minutes behind. Okay, chat. I'm going to try to speed run and chat so I can get caught up because <gasps> there's mullet hitting everywhere. That's why these people are pulling up. The fishing is good here. J-Dub, what's up? Quality is great, but every couple of minutes, it's, it cuts out. Um, well, it could just be because it's really cloudy today. Um, yeah, my signal is kind of like swonky if it's really cloudy. Um, and I'm not tanning. I'm just chilling. I was going to try to see the sunset, but I didn't take into account the fact that if it's an extremely cloudy day, that means I can't see the sun. So, that's a little fun, I guess. It was foggy in the morning. Way out here in Florida, I bet. It was probably, it's been like really humid lately. So, um, like I got this little, it's like a little weather station that I hang outside my camper and it tells me the exact temperature where I am because a lot of times I'll look up the temperature for like a city that I'm staying in, but I'll be staying out at a campground in the middle of the woods and the temperature actually, it's normally a lot colder when you're out far in the woods, like away from cities, um, or if you're like out in the middle of an area where there's not a lot of tree coverage or something like that it can actually be like a lot hotter than what it says like if i look up cocoa beach it will say a temperature that's cooler a lot of times because they have a breeze from the ocean and if you're not right on the ocean it's actually a lot warmer so anyways i have this little like weather station i hang outside my camper and it tells me like the actual humidity the actual temperature and um it's been nice it's been like 100% humidity though, so that's been annoying. Smoke sesh, there's people literally hold, pulling up like right where I am always. Like I can literally be chilling by myself and it will never cease to be a thing. <laughs> What's the experience that changed you the most? Probably starting streaming, obviously. Honestly, I started streaming like four years ago and I feel like it just like made me a lot more independent and a lot more like confident and wanting to like go out and travel it kind of made me fall in love with being outside like I always liked going outdoors and doing active things but it wasn't until I started streaming that I like discovered really cool places and stuff like that Jesse Green hello how are you how's your day show us my mermaid fin this is the start of my mermaid fin it has to like spread and then it like morphs my legs together and then my whole fin is just this weird bruise color but it works trust just just have faith my internet connection's lagging i don't know what to do about it man i i'm supposed to have signal out here like i normally have signal out here it's there's like cell phone towers not that far away and I'm on open water but sometimes my signal is just a little bit like spotty if it's cloudy out so I apologize guys 
I can't do anything about it. Like, there's nowhere that I can really go right now and it not be like this other than doing an indoor camper stream. Which, I mean, I guess if you guys really wanted, I could do one later tonight in the camper and be, like, 4K and stuff. But the issue is, I don't really know what I would do. I get, like, meh, chilling in the camper sometimes. And also, it's, like, an evening on a Sunday. I don't know how many people will be able to hang out anyways. Oh, sweet girl. Thank you so much. You are a sweet girl. <laughs> I became a follower. Thank you so much for following. I appreciate you. We're on our road to 80K. Woo woo. <laughs> What's up? Is bros fishing? Yeah, they're fishing. Um, this is probably a great spot, honestly, because uh, this there's like this canal right here. There's a ton of gators, which means there's probably a ton of fish because gators like fish and there's a ton of mangroves so there's a lot of coverage for like little bait fish and things like that and then there's like a pump up there that sometimes runs so it gets a lot of air in the water and um, like tarpon run through here uh, reds run through here snook run through here um, people catch really big fish out here sometimes so I would assume that this like opening right here is pretty decent I've been seeing mullet hit a lot the only thing it'd be it's like hard to fish in this canal on a boat you would have to just like park it and walk um this is actually a really good place to fish where you don't need a boat fish uh, i'm probably not gonna fish today because i only have like an hour maybe with sun and i didn't bring fishing stuff i mean i could probably get braxton to bring me stuff if i fish i'm probably gonna do it next week because next week has well like on um when am I streaming again? I might stream Monday evening, even though that's, like, supposed to be my day off. I'm going and hanging out with my mom, I feel like after that I might want to stream because my mom stresses me out sometimes. And then Tuesday, I'll, I'll be streaming Thursday. I think Thursday is supposed to be good weather. I could stream next week or fish next week. What am I saying? Or not next week, at the end of this week. It's so confusing because I take off in the middle of the week, so then I think that's the weekend, but that's not actually the weekend. <laughs> He has a nut in that just saying. I already said they're fishing. I already said I'm not creeped out by them. I just said at first, like, though, they were pulling up right behind me. I was like, what the fuck? But then I realized that it was, like, a family and they were fishing. But I just, like, had already had that guy follow me out here. So I was like, are you fucking kidding me again? <laughs> Chanky. Weird. Just kidding. I sent it. Okay. It's a short. Sorry, I forgot that you told me to check my discord one second one second hold on why hold up sometimes my this phone is like so slow even like i can stream on this phone but then i can't even get things to load sometimes on this one uh Oh, of course, Silent Ground, I will have you. <laughs> that's crazy. That is so crazy. That means that's also my, uh, what is that? My four or my four or five year Twitch anniversary? Is it my four year? Or is that my, my uh, partner anniversary, right? Four year partner anniversary, February 18th. Question to you do body painting. I have not done body painting and I probably won't really do it just because I don't know like I get bored if I'm inside all the time and like even sometimes I'll do art streams but even then like I'll enjoy them here and there but I don't really like want to do it all the time I'd rather go outside and do random shit um and just like go travel around and stuff so I don't really do it, but um, I do plan on, at some point, Ray, Rachel, and I have been trying to, like, link up for a while now. At some point, I plan on, like, hanging out with Ray, Rachel, and we had, like, an idea of maybe her body painting me and me body painting her, <laughs> which is funny because Ray, Rachel's really good, so my, my body paint will look great, and then... I feel like I'm like I'm kind of artistic so I feel like I could do something decent on her I just have to do something 
that I plan out well in advance because I feel like I'm better at like I ha replicating something already in my head I can't just like start doing something and just like be creative the whole time and just come up with something magical sounds like someone is like pulling up right here doesn't look warm there it's literally today is high as 69 but it feels like 70 something because the humidity in florida is like almost 100 percent so um it's pretty it's pretty good it's kind of cold no the sun isn't going down for another hour and a half it's just gloomy out because it's been looking like it's gonna rain all day but it's actually not raining it's just literally being gloomy it's this all day this is just what the weather is it's not hot it's not cold it's not sunny it's not raining it's just gloomy i actually this is one of my favorite weathers in florida which is kind of weird because a lot of people like will come into a stream whenever i'm like streaming out in this weather and they'll say like oh it looks cold or it looks like this it the weather doesn't look very nice today and i'm always like this is my favorite because florida can be really freaking hot or when it's cold it's humid so it feels extremely cold so when it's like this it's just like warm but not super sunny you can exist outside and be extremely comfortable and you can pretty much do anything also if you're into photography a lot of times if you just bring like a little bit of lighting this lighting's actually nice because it's like it's not too bright there's no shadows and it's almost like it, it's like a soft box over the lighting that's how this it's just like sunny out but then there's a ton of clouds it's really nice i i like this weather i can see blue skies in between the clouds up above me it's just it looks dark over there i like it i think it looks mysterious george thank you for the 31 bits how are you thank you thank you thank you how's your day how are things Liv has been streaming since february 17 2018 wait okay wait, wait, wait i started streaming february 17th so then when is my part when did i get partnered so my twitch anniversary is coming up is that what's happening i gotta plan something fun oh my god what am i gonna do i want to get a jackery power box or like whatever those power bank things are i want one so bad so i can do like pretty long outdoor IRL streams just off my phone and just continuously charge my shit. I want one so bad. I feel like I can just go to like some crazy spots. That's what I might try to get before that stream so that I can do something really cool. Ah, Raver! <laughs> Is this a swamp? Yep, Florida girl in the swamp. I'm gonna change my title to Florida girl in the swamp. It's my new title. One second chat. One second, I like it. Florida girl in the swamp. Gada. Wait, where's an alligator emote? Oh, that's a dolphin. We like dolphins. We might see a dolphin here, actually. All right, anyways. I love it. I keep telling her she's a pro. What did I do? Who's a pro? Me? Oh my god. <laughs> love sorry, Master P. Is Goldie, you're so sweet to me. Yo, nice bruise. Have you been wrestling alligators? Wait, can you see my bruise? Do I have other bruises? Are you talking about this one? Bro, did you see this one? <laughs> um, I have not been wrestling gators. Oh my god, I got things on me. I have like all these little bruises and then this this big old masterpiece. I went slacklining the other day. I went to this like pretty waterside area and I set up my slackline uh, on two palm trees over overgoing the water. And I was like, oh, this is gonna be so amazing. We're all gonna chill out and slackline. I'm gonna be in my bikini. It's gonna be so much fun and I can swim. And it was so fun and so great. But there was this one moment where I, I forgot that I was Grace and I lost my confidence and chat distracted me and it was all Chad's fault, especially Alex's fault. 
and I fell and like did this weird little flip and I literally like busted my ass, got sand rash on my butt and got this master daddy bruise. And this is actually getting better. So if it looks bad to you now, I mean, it's looking better than it did. It had bright red in it and it looked like I had a bunch of broken blood vessels. And I've been putting on Tony and Chloe. Chloe, she tweeted me and she suggested, oh, don't look at my broken nail. I have to go and get it fixed. She suggests I get this like Arnicare bruise cream. And uh, you're supposed to apply it like right after it happens, which I didn't. I applied it the next day. And then you're supposed to apply it as needed and massage it in. I do think that it's like, I think that it's making the colors not as vibrant. I don't know. I'm just gonna keep using it. I still have like a massive knot <laughs> there. I'm good. Yay, George. Me too. Thanks for hanging out with me. Jaxius, hello. How are you? Caruso, hello. How was your evening? How was your guys' this weekend? I will say my channel points if you meet up. All right, Silent Ground, meet up with you. Let's go. Hope the weather stays away for at least the next week visiting Jax. I'm stoked. Ricky, I think actually um, the weather next week is going to be better than it is this week. So, I mean, like, obviously, if you like this type of weather, it's, I don't think it's going to be like this as much. I think we're going to have, like, two days where it's going to rain here and there. But most of the time, it's going to be sunny and warm. And a lot of times, if we have little bits of rain here and there, and it's supposed to be warm, that actually means that in between the rain, it will be really sunny and pretty. So you should have a good time, hopefully. I mean, I'm looking at the East Coast stuff. Wait, Jacksonville is East Coast. You're just more north. Um, it'll probably just be a little cooler than it is here, but it will still probably be pretty warm. <coughs> Would like to see you and Rachel doing body painting. Well, I went to uh, I went to Texas and I messaged her and we were going to try to hang out and we were going to try to stream together and she was going to body paint me and I was going to body paint her. And we were so excited. Oh, and she wanted me to do a hot dub stream with her. I was like, yes, I will happily. Like, I will, I will get in a hot tub because when I was traveling I was living out of a tent so like the idea of a hot tub just sounds so lavish so I thought I was gonna hang out with her and didn't realize that te Texas is just a fucking massive state it took me so long to get through freaking Texas and she was like more north Texas and I was kind of more towards the middle and I was wanting to go to Big Ben which is like almost in Mexico so it was very south Texas and it just didn't work out so we've been like itching to hang out for a while so when we do it's it's going to be really fun I think Rachel and I are going to be the bestest of friends I honestly think that she and I are very similar the other person that I'm extremely excited to hang out with other than like Luna who I've already hung out with uh, a not a tray. Fuck. Uh, I mean, a tray's cool. I, I've met a tray. Um, freaking arrow iris. I want to go and like slack line and learn to pull dance with Ariel iris and go to Yosemite and hike around. I feel like she's like the other person on Twitch who is a hundred percent my cup of tea. G here in uh, wait, what gets to over 40. Nice. Gross bruise. I know. I'm sorry. Uh -uh. Cinemas. Hello. Gross. Stop being mean to me. I can't help my bruise. Jesus Christ. Don't be so mean. My gosh. I can't help it, dude. Can't help that I fell and hurt myself. You guys want me to just take a hiatus when I get a bruise or just like do completely different streams where I have to hide myself so you guys don't get to see it? My God. Leave me alone. Is that bruise from the fall? It is from the fall. You guys don't understand. Slack lightning is dangerous. You guys don't give me enough credit where credit's due. <laughs> Triple antibiotics too. Yeah, I applied the rash cream or the bruise cream like four or five times yesterday and I've applied it twice today and I'm gonna apply it a few more times before I go to bed because I would really like for it to go away because normally bruises stay on me forever. Ray, Ray will fix you up for sure. 
she does like so many cool like gaming things and stuff but I'm gonna ask her to do something just like beautiful and mystical maybe just like a bunch of like flowers make me feel like a fairy with like really bright pretty pinks and purples and blues and I'm gonna ask her to put sparkles on me um, <laughs> I don't know what she'll want me to do but that's what I'm gonna want <laughs> If you play your cards right, the booze will take on the shape of a head of a religious figure. You can make a bunch of money off it. Oh my god, if it looks like Jesus, I can tell people that, like, I had this dream and then this bruise formed and that I'm a prof. I'm just kidding. That's like, um, isn't that like a, you're like the archangel and it's like the worst sin or, I don't fucking know what I'm saying. I'm just gonna lay here. <laughs> uh mosquitoes the mosquitoes started coming out it's so annoying I forgot like I, I like this weather the overcast but the only issue is when the sun starts going down it starts to be twilight there's like nothing stopping the mosquitoes from just coming out full force it's not so bad yet but once it gets bad we're probably gonna start riding back or just like at least riding around. Maybe we'll ride around out here for a little bit because I get tore up sometimes and I'm just not here for it, you know? <sighs> Are there alligators there? Absolutely. There's alligators over there. There's like a swamp right behind me. Um, I see alligators there all the time. Here, less likely. So like right over there, it's like a canal um and it runs like really far and it opens up to some big areas a lot of gators hang out in there there's a lot of fish in there and it's really deep so it's just like a good place for them to chill i go out here all the time at night and i'll come with a flashlight and i just like shine and you can see all their eyes like sparkling under the mangroves um this though opens up and this is part of a river and this river is uh has a high salt content so it's like less likely that the gators would be over here also gators are less likely to be in just like big open water like this they kind of like being in um like swamps or canals and things like that where there's like mangroves that they can get up in and they almost like nest themselves and hide in there and then they like chill out and they wait for like big fish and shit to pass by so if a gator creeps up on me is gra grabbing me from behind <laughs> Dude, when was that your neck? A mosquito! No! George, thank you so much for the 25 bits. I appreciate you. All right, guys. We're going to walk over here. I'm going to try to see if I can climb out to, um, let's make sure there's no one, like, coming out here so they don't come and steal my shit while I walk away. All right, there's, like, this big, uh, like, wooden structure over here not structure <laughs> there's this big piece of wood out here i'm gonna see if i can walk to because it's really pretty the cam's panning sometimes it does that bulldog hello how are you i feel like for the amount of people in chat chat is hella slow today why are you guys talking to me <laughs> yexion hello be careful out there it lives thanks and happy to pretty girls alone on the beach yeah we're already aware we already were followed out here and had to call braxton and he had to ride all the way out here on his motorcycle to check on me to like scare off some dude who like followed me to a freaking dead end um and then stood by my one wheel so that i was just kind of like cornered out here and was like awkwardly just standing there when there were other places to go and then like pretending to take pictures george guys look isn't it pretty i want to see if i can walk over to it i want to climb on it i've been out here before with braxton and i said that i wanted to climb on it and he told me no but he's not here right now look there's like this like coral situation there's little like tunnel looking things under there I, I bet what do you think lives in there do you guys think stingrays go up in there i know there's probably hella stingrays in here you have to do the stingray shuffle hmm if i could just like not have to step too much in the water so i don't get annihilated by a stingray that could be cool where are you i'm out uh 
it's, uh, <laughs> I don't know how to explain I'm in Florida. I'm at a, uh, random swampy area, you know. Ah, there's dirt on me! Bonjour! Caruso, excuse me, focus on talking to me. Is there anything known to be in the waters? Uh, bull sharks, stingrays, gators, lots of fish. We have a lot of good fishing around here. Lots of snook and redfish and, uh, you know, tarpon. It's pain. Wow. Thank you. Uh, pleasure living to this, so hopefully that should keep the stalker from doing anything. You're live too? Yeah, I mean, I showed the guy on the camera and, like, explained what he was wearing. So, I think that kind of helped deter from anything too creepy happening. Alright, so, I could walk out to it, but, like, there's a lot of, like, random rocks and sticks so I kind of don't want to like step on something and hurt myself oh, why do I want to be on it so bad I wish it was a little bit bigger so that I could climb there's this one piece of driftwood that it kind of looks like this but it's a lot bigger and it's out in this really pretty inlet and there's like all these palm trees and the water's really blue there the water's a lot nicer than it is here and there's like this big piece of driftwood like this and there's these two limbs that stick out and you can freaking hang a hammock on it and you're like hammocking over the water from this beautiful piece of driftwood Ugh, i want to go there again that's like a little bit more no it was just slipped it's slippery slippery i'm wearing my olakai flip-flops i like them a lot but i feel like they're kind of slippery gator world yelp but I'm a Florida girl, so we got this. Clicked. Uh, this is where a lot of forensic file episodes start. Don't say that, guys. What the fuck? Guys, you never have faith in me living, and it's really not right because it kind of makes me have a little bit of anxiety that I'm going to die all the time. And, you know, it'd be nice to just be able to, like, hang out here, not be scared, you know, not think that someone's going to jump out and fucking eat me or, I don't know, <laughs> live. Why is it whenever I'm in your stream, you always get a stalker nicks? Because I like to go out in the middle of fucking nowhere and just, you know, do these dumb things on point gear what i can't talk you look on point girl pure fire pure fire wow thank you swirl lurker it's probably not even deep the water's not deep it's just there's a lot of like i don't know things in the water that i don't really know if i want to step on last stream i caught when you crushed the old gingerbread house you had a stalker then too oh my god yeah where i crushed the gingerbread house with my but I remember that. Yeah, there was some guy like following me down this like creepy trail and then kept like hiding off the trail in the woods. And then as soon as I would get like walk past him, he would like pop back out of the woods and like start falling behind me. And then like I would get creeped out and like stop and like just put the camera on him basically. And then he would like pass me and then hide in the fucking woods again and then just pop out after I passed behind me like a freaking creeper. And I'm like, why are you being weird? Like, there's a million things you could be doing right now, but you're choosing to be weird as fuck. Why? Anyways, I found the jellyfish. I keep losing him. I'm really scared I'm going to lose him and step on him. Yeah, you're a long way from that place. Nah, not that far. It's, it's just like, what, two hours or something? Can we get a fit check? A fit check. This bathing suit's pretty cute. I think I've only worn it like two times. I really like it though. I like forgot I had it because I lost the bottoms for a while. Because sometimes I do that. Um, I don't know how I lose like one part and not the other part of the bikini. But here's the fit. I got some dirt on me because, you know, like running out in the woods and getting dirty, apparently. And um, here it is. Here it is, here it is, here it is, here it is. I thought that was a gator, but it wasn't. It was just a, a big stick. You might be safe from the soccer, but the camera isn't going to stop a shark from attacking you. Oh, a shark's gonna jump out of the water and eat me. It's more like a gator, bro. 
Partial, I know. I fucked up. You just gotta remember people want to have your mindset of having no fear of what's in the water. Okay. There are scary things in the water. There's a good reason to have a little bit of fear in some places. I think it's just good to like know where you should and shouldn't go in the water. Like I know areas in Florida where gators are very likely and then I know areas where they're unlikely and I know like there's certain tricks you know like being loud in certain areas or like now staying away from the mangroves at night like there's certain things you can do to avoid it and you'll probably be fine what the fuck is on me you guys weren't gonna tell me that there's fuzz all stuck to me while i'm literally showing you the back of my bathing suit from my towel there's fuzz stuck to my leg oh my god what's up lipsticks thank you Where is this? It's just out in a swamp somewhere. So why are you in a specific location? Isn't there an alternative area to catch some dark clouds? To catch some dark clouds? I don't want to catch dark clouds. I was trying to go somewhere where the weather might be nice. I thought I was going to see the sunset here because, okay, you guys see right there where it's nice and bright? That's where the sun is going to set. So this is like an amazing spot to see the sunset. We might actually get to see it because there's just like a little gap in the dark clouds over there. I My goal is to ride my one wheel out here, chill on this little beach area, hopefully get some sun, and then we could all see the sunset together. This is why I chose this spot and no one ever comes out here normally, so it's like private. So I thought it would be really fun. Hey, don't go home by yourself or at least be live just in case the creeper is still lurking and waiting to get yeah i'm not going to in stream till i get into my truck um that was kind of my plan um i was even possibly considering driving to my camp uh with you guys but the only problem is like my signal's definitely going to drop on my way back because i had some signal issues on the way here and then i will also have probably my signal drop like as I get right by where my campsite is because both of those areas are kind of dead zones out here no father figure looks like that's not true pain I like how you come in here and first be nice and then you say these things are you a girl or are you just pretending to be a girl first of all also had a dad all growing up just recently decided to cut him out of my life because it was a little bit toxic but don't go okay uh you didn't see it okay? Well, there was like fuzz literally all stuck to my butt and no one told me, but it's fine. This is a good spot for an Instagram story. Should I post an Instagram story chat? Here, let's do one. It is a really pretty spot. Let's see. Let's see. We'll post, I'll get you guys. You guys wanna post? Here chat pose for me. Everyone say hi in chat. One second. All right, there we go. Outfit is a ten. You guys are sweet. 
definitely post one. Were you talking about me or the area? Because I didn't post one as me. <laughs> that Duntrum, hello, how are you? Kenzo, hello, what's up? How are you? Camera quality's nice. So guys, I learned recently that, so I, I have gone through a process. I started streaming like a long time ago and I started using Streamlabs because it for a long time was the best app for IRL streaming in my opinion and I like manually scroll through chat to keep up and it was just like better to me for doing that so I always stuck to Streamlabs but Streamlabs went through like a lot of drama recently and all this kind of stuff and I used to pay for Streamlabs Prime so that I had like this disconnect protection so if my stream dropped it wouldn't like separate my VODs into a million things and also the Prime version paid for the watermark not to be on your stream which is so fucking stupid because I'm streaming on stream elements right now they don't charge me for a watermark and I don't have to pay for disconnect protection but anyways I had to fucking sub to Prime with Streamlabs just for these like basic features and then they still maxed me out to where I could only stream at 720p whereas now with Stream Elements I'm not paying I don't have a stream um the watermark I don't have those issues and I'm literally streaming at 1080p with 6000 bitrate whereas before I was streaming at like 3000 bitrate at 720p so I've been really happy. Also, like Braxton can remotely fix my my like random goals and put text on the screen and there's a bee chasing me and uh, it just looks a lot better. I've been really happy with chasing Streamlabs uh, or Stream Elements. I just heard a creepy ass fucking noise. Did you guys hear that? It was like, Bruh! did you guys hear that or was it just me? <laughs> Age, I'm 24. Cyber, what's up? The Dotron, hello, Cyber. Hello. Thank you, thank you, thank you, guys. Can we have some Liz dabs? Endless loves for Cyber. Thank you for the 200 bits. You are a hero. I'm Daniel. I'm from Switzerland. I'm 37. Nice to meet you, Daniel from Switzerland. My name's Olivia, 24. I'm originally from Florida. Was born in Ohio, but I've lived in Florida my whole life. And for the last year and a half, I've been nomading, but I'm actually in Florida right now. So, welcome. Nice to meet you. <laughs> talking about the donation. What are you talking about? Elto, hello, how are you? Thank you. I know, right, Dr. Tripp? Can you blame them, though? Ah, sweet girl, thank you. Sunset, mind me while I'm busy. Doctor, it's fine. Hi, why are you in a swamp? Because I'm in Florida and swamps are pretty. <laughs> I actually like have a lot of appreciation for places like this. I find them really pretty. Honestly, areas like this, now that I've been in Washington, they also kind of like remind me a little bit of Washington. Like this specifically looks a lot like Washington, but it's, it's definitely more humid. Um, and I think there's, I don't remember if there were a bunch of crickets, if I heard a bunch of crickets when I was in Washington or not. There were hella slugs though. Like I don't see slugs that often in Florida. And um, like I'll only see them if it rains a lot or we have like a big hurricane or something coming. But oh my God, when I was in Washington, I saw slugs all the time. One time I freaking left my Crocs out. Like normally when I used to have like the rooftop tent set up, I used to take my Crocs and like, kind of like tuck them into my tent so they wouldn't sit on the ground so in the morning I could put my shoes on and no like spiders or bugs or rain got in my crocs or you know like freaking parasites or not parasites centipedes <gasps> scary anyways so one time I left my crocs out on the ground and I go and put my fucking crocs on and there was a slug in my croc and I touched it with my foot and it was so fucking disgusting and terrifying and yeah that's what I brought back from uh Washington is being traumatized by slugs <laughs> You know, just moved to Florida. When are we going on a date? Doctor, where did you move in Florida? Sunset looks like a rectangular to me. Um, the sun's setting in like, I think the sun sets in like an hour, actually. I don't think the sun sets till like 6.30. So I think we actually have some time. It just kind of looks like it's setting because the sun's like peering through over there. It kind of looks golden. But really, I think that's just like 
that's where it is going to set but there's just like a break in the clouds right there that's why it looks that way is that a one wheel it is i have the pine pint x one wheel i have a hot pink mag handle and this like salmon pink fender and then i also have i'm replacing this like bumper with a magenta color and then the under part i'm going to make that blue color and then i bought some really cute little colorful plugs but i keep losing the plugs for the power spot so i'm probably not gonna rebuy them because I keep losing them. Liv, what happened to your leg? I was slacklining and fell. Thank you, Dr. F6. Hello, how are you? Oh God, I hate centipedes. It's a fear. They're so scary. I would love to meet out and hang out with you eventually because you're such a sweet girl. Aw, wall coop. Oh my God, you just reminded me of something, wall coop. Um, but yes, I would love to hang out with you. Um, I am possibly going to hang out with the 30 show. They stream on Twitch. They also are nomading right now. It's um, it's a couple, and then they're also traveling with their kids. They have a van, and they stream on Twitch. Anyways, um, they were just in St. Augustine, and that's like not that far from me. And uh, Brie was messaging me, and I was telling her like some fun things that they could do around here. And I think that I might take them beach fishing on Tuesday, which I don't normally stream on Tuesday, but I mean, if I, I, he's probably going to stream, so I might just like be on their stream, but if they want me to stream, I might stream as well, like while I'm with them. So you guys might get a bonus stream of beach fishing because I'm gonna let uh, like Bree and, I actually don't know the 30 show, I don't know his name, but I'll let them borrow my fish rods. I have three, so like they can use two and then I have one. I'll use my shittier one. I'll let them use the nice ones, I guess. <laughs> Just moved to Fort Lauderdale. Fort Lauderdale is like, I don't think it's that far. Liv, yeah, everyone calls me Liz for some reason. I don't know where that comes from because it's Liv Sticks, which is short or long for Liv, which is short for Olivia. <laughs> Olivia. That's my name. Must have hurt. It actually is starting to look better, but yeah. Thank you, doctor. I got this bathing suit from Ron John's. I think they have like some of the best bikinis other than this other secret spot that I'm not gonna tell you guys about because it's the best ever. <laughs> this corner of the blanket is effing a bit, Liv. You placed this in a cursed corner? Are you serious? Are you actually for real? Why? Why would this corner be cursed in comparison to anywhere else? Guys, I should have brought freaking um, mosquito spray because even though the mosquitoes aren't messing with me, there's like these no -seams that are fucking with me and they're kind of pissing me off. Got a lot of people who haven't been here in a while tuning in. It's my, it's me keeping to a schedule. I've been streaming more, so I've been able to see people more recently. Isn't it beautiful, me having a schedule? I don't know why I didn't think of this sooner, but <laughs> here I am finally learning the, the keys to Twitch, having a schedule and you can see people you like. Grimsy, hello, Santis, hello. No, it's not supposed to be buffering. Do I need to move you guys? Or is it still doing it? Reception isn't very good. No! Okay, hold on. Let me try something. Tell me if it's better over here. All right. Ah! All right, I'm gonna move you guys over here. Is this better or worse? Lemon now. Nice to meet another nature lover. Stay real. Ah, Cyber X genre. Nice to meet you too. Thank you, thank you, thank you for the 200 bits. Guys, can we have some Liv steps? And Liv's less for Cyber X genre. I do love nature. I'm glad to share it with you. Please play nice Twitch and stream elements. Yeah, right. Liv got the one wheel and got the buffer wheel. I don't know why I'm buffering so much here. I've streamed here a few times, but I think that it's something to do with like how overcast it is. Sometimes when it's really overcast, 
I have awful signal. I don't know why. It's like all the clouds block the cell towers from helping me stream and it's so annoying. <laughs> what happened to my leg? I was being a balance queen and I was slack lining and I was being so impressive and chat was blown away by all my skill and then all of a sudden chat distracted me and it was only due to chat and nothing to do with me and my lack of talent and I fell my foot slipped off the slack line and I fell like this and then landed on my back and then the slack line hit my legs up over me and I flipped backwards and smacked my leg and gave myself a big ass bruise it was really painful and yeah it's because I love chat that it happened because I was trying to provide chat guys I'm getting bitten I got bitten by a freaking bug on my stomach I'm upset. <laughs> this is annoying. I've been to St. Augustine a few times. Ooh, wall coop. Do you like St. Augustine? I like St. Augustine. I think it's really pretty. During Christmas time, they have something called, uh, they call it like the night of lights and they put out um, a crazy amount of Christmas lights and they do like a bunch of shows there and a lot of people like go on dates during this time or people will go on dates out on these like boats that go along the water and you can see the whole town lit up from the water it's really beautiful you're not buffering anymore uh so annoying i feel like i can only guys have you guys in like one spot right now <laughs> because when i rode out here i didn't have signal over here i don't have signal it seems like i only have signal in this one spot i really want to like kind of maybe start like ride around I feel like riding around could be really fun but I don't know if I start riding around if my signal is gonna suck but I'm getting like annihilated by no CM so I don't know I'm kind of not feeling the spot as much as I thought I would your best so secret location is your knee tell more you're weird what one wheeling instead of slack lining today yeah I had to give myself a break bro otherwise I'm gonna be covered from head to toe in bruises and that's not really the look that i'm trying to rock you know what i'm saying i'm also trying not to rock freaking bug bites all over myself can they fuck off why why are they attacking me why or have they already attacked me and i'm just itchy because of it and they're not even fucking with me anymore ah! By the way, time you rechat, there's lag. No, it's because I just rechat extremely slowly, probably. Probably. All right, chat. We're gonna. I'm gonna see if I can ride around with you guys and if my signal's gonna work. If not, I don't know what to say because I'm getting tore up over here. So we're going to get ourselves just set up to like ride around boss stop spam asking bugs are biting what are you doing in their swamp yeah, they're biting me like crazy and it's really annoying. I'm not in their swamp, they're in my swamp. The bugs are invasive and they're annoying. Oh my God, the sky's starting to look so pretty! Yay! <laughs> it's so pretty! I think I'm just gonna like put my stuff together and just walk around here and just stay moving. Maybe that's the key. Cause the sun is setting in like 30 minutes. I wanna see the sunset. I came out here for the sunset. God damn it. <gasps> I'm just tired of getting bitten. Ow, ow, I ow, envy you no madding. Ow. Must be a I'm blast. I'm an ethical scientist. I would never participate in rogue science. What science are you partaking in? Yexian, I'm in Florida. How are you? Cover yourself in mud. Will stop the bugs from biting? I thought that just stopped the zombies from smelling you. That actually does other things. Maybe I should. Should I roll around in the mud chat? Just roll around right here in the, the nice swamp. 
you know, look nice and vulnerable for the gators. The sun came out today. Hello. I haven't seen you all day, bitch. I freaking missed you. How are you? Let's have a little chat, shall we? I would like to tell you how much I appreciate you and how it'd be really great if I could see you tomorrow because I'm a little over not seeing you. You know, today was rough. I didn't feel the shine on my skin. I didn't feel glowing at all. I just felt like there was a dull to my shine. And it was because I didn't have you. So can you come out tomorrow? If so, I'll, I'll stick it out. I'll wait out the bugs. I'll wait out the no see and the mosquitoes and the possible gators. And I'll watch you set. But you need to come out and show me yourself all day tomorrow. <laughs> I envy you nomading must be a blast. Thanks, Cyber. Um, it is pretty fun. It's pretty fun for sure. It's definitely see, uh, cool seeing different parts of the U.S., especially being from Florida, because I feel like Florida has a very like specific environment that's very different. So it's cool to like, you know, know see the other cool places. <laughs> Thank you so much for the bits, guys. Liz does and Liz loves for cyber. Thank you. Thank you. The delay is huge in the stream. All right, guys, I'm going to set up and we're going to move and see if my internet gets better or not. The beautiful muddy gas smelling swampy water must have hundred sounds in Florida. Hey, it doesn't smell bad somehow it actually doesn't smell bad over here some swampy areas don't smell bad it's like those are more like really muddy swampy areas this is a swampy area next to a river so it's not really like i don't know there's like a good breeze here normally and stuff like that right now there's not really much of a good breeze today's very interesting weather our weather lately has been like not my favorite but not my least favorite like during the day it's nice but around this time it's a little buggy you know so you just gotta avoid the bugs you can do that then it's an enjoyable experience <laughs> Ooh, let's drink some water shall we hydration is nice Guys, look, my Yellowstone water bottle. It's got Old Faithful. Isn't it cute? <gasps> this is just a beautiful shot, in my opinion. Postcard pic. I mean, here on the, here on the, the stick. Ah! Oh my God, the sun freaking went away again. Why did it go away? <laughs> oh my gosh. It's like right there. It's right behind that really dark cloud. And then it's going to come through right there. Show for a second. It's going to be bright, vibrant. And it's going to be beautiful. And we're going to be here to see it. Even if we're going to be completely torn up by bugs. We're going to fucking see this bitch. <laughs> Better be pretty. The belt is super fucking cute, miss. Oh my god, thank you. I bought it to go with something else that I'm planning on wearing on Valentine. But I've been like dying to wear it because I think it's so fucking cute. And I kept trying it on with bathing suits and Braxton kept being like, I don't think that goes. But then today I put it on and he was like, okay, that goes. It's cute. And I was like, yes, I'm wearing it. <laughs> so yeah. All right. Ugh just getting my stuff ready so after we see the sunset we can peace the fuck out and ride the one wheel because it's gonna get dark and the bugs are gonna come out even worse and the only way we're gonna even be able to withstand the bugs is if we're moving <coughs> thanks silent ground you should have come to new zealand in january and february slam february summertime weather all day sun 
That sounds amazing. That's why I'm really trying to go to Alaska during the spring slash summertime. I see myself hiking around 3 a.m. and it's twilight, doing photography whenever the fuck I want, being able to stream, do photography, videography, any time of the day because the sun is up and there's like flowers blooming and there's bears there during that time of the year that I can see. But yeah, I would love to go there as well, Andrew. You have Old Faithful water? What? No. Isn't Old Faithful water acidic? Wouldn't that kill you? Wouldn't it burn me up from the inside? Wouldn't I die? I don't think you can drink water from Old Faithful. It's a, just an algae with Old Faithful on it that I got at the park. Come on, Robotics Geek. Come on, man. Build a fire. You know what? If I had my weed with me, chat, my weed, I have a theory. I think it scares off bugs. I feel like if we were like smoking it up right here, these bugs wouldn't even be fucking with me. But we didn't bring the weed. The weed's at the camper. Guys, do you guys, whenever I'm like done out here, do you guys want to put up with like signal dropping and stuff like that? And like put up with that and me continue and ride to my camper and then continue streaming or if it's gonna drop a bunch should I just like say goodbyes when the sun's going down because just trying to figure it out oh god what am I doing I must time someone out on accident <sighs> Moth soon live I got work tomorrow so enjoy the rest of your stream <gasps> George have fun going to sleep thanks for hanging out I hope you have a lovely day at work Good night, goodbye. It sounded like a gator was going to eat me, or was that me? I don't know what that noise was. <laughs> it's right there. What is? A gator? An Alaska King salmon fishing? Oh, yes, that's what I want to do so bad. So I actually camped in Oregon on the Rogue River when the salmon were running, but like when we started traveling, like we traveled out of the Subaru at first and we just we had very limited space so we actually left our fishing stuff here in florida and we were just like we're probably not gonna fish as much because we're gonna have to get like fishing license everywhere and all this kind of stuff and we don't really have rods for things that aren't like saltwater fishing so we left our stuff but then when we found out that the salmon were running on the rogue river i was like dude my dream like i would love to catch a salmon so we like made it our mission to go and find somewhere to buy fishing rods but out there you're kind of like in the middle of nowhere and it's really hard to find things and we would find fishing shops but they like wouldn't have the right equipment and we needed rods that would like break down because we traveled we didn't have room for full-size rods so finally we find these rods that work for us and we buy them and then we're like no longer staying on the rogue river and then found out that the salmon stopped running so we literally like missed our opportunity but now i have stuff for salmon fishing if the occasion ever arises i i'll be ready um but yeah I, I am bummed that i haven't caught a salmon yet but maybe next time i'm in alaska <sighs> you ever been to suwanee river is that in florida that sounds familiar i feel like i've heard of that the little bugs are too young to get high yeah that's why they piss off or i don't know man maybe the bugs don't want to be high My stomach's literally turning red. Look, I got bitten. <laughs> this is so sad. <sighs> Live discovered the Fountain of Youth in Florida. It is in Florida. It's near St. Augustine, right? <sighs> All right. Stay with us. Maybe I will. All right, guys. I have a theory. I don't think we're going to see the sunset because I'm pretty sure that the sun right now is supposed to be setting pretty sure and I don't see it so I'm getting annihilated we're gonna start riding the one wheel back towards where I parked because it's gonna get dark out here and I'm gonna get eaten alive and I would like to get to the truck before 
it's dark and creepy and I get kidnapped. So, I'm enjoying your stream. <laughs> I enjoy hanging out with you guys. Yay. <laughs> Gonna go back to Alaska, spend a month there. Loved my time there. Yes, absolutely should. I feel like Alaska is one of those places like you almost have to experience during like a bunch of different seasons. Like I went during winter, which a lot of people are like, why? Why are you going during winter? You should go during like spring or summer. And I ended up seeing the Northern Lights and it was gorgeous. And I was really happy that I went. So I don't know. Oh, and by stay here with me, I mean keep streaming. I figure that's what you mean. I'll continue streaming, but just so you guys know, my stream might cut out a little bit here and there on the way back to camp, like on the way back to my truck, and then it might drop out here and there on the drive back to camp, but I'm only like two minutes down the road, so. <laughs> um, and then when I get to the camper, I'll connect to internet and I'll have good internet. Don't know what I'll be doing, but. Sorry for my previous message. My English is bad and maybe moderator thought I was talking in a bad way. Oh, uh, I don't know what you said, bonjour, but you're fine. You are fine. Such a beautiful, precious soul. Oh, thanks, Driz. Go. You're from Oregon? Oh my God, I'm so jealous. I mean, I love Florida and I'm very excited to go back to Oregon. Oregon is so beautiful. Ugh. What is it like there right now? Um, is it cold there? Is it like, what is it like? during this time. I was there during like June gloom, but I, I really enjoyed it regardless. Woo! Now that I've started on the one wheel, I'm not getting bitten by bugs at all. <laughs> oh, it feels good. Here's the spot. It's really pretty. Let's see what it looks like now. Sometimes when it's not cloudy, some and sometimes the sun will set right in between here. It's not setting in between here today. Sometimes it sets right in between here. It's really pretty. You are not wearing a helmet. No, I'm not wearing a helmet right now. Ever see that jellyfish again? No, I did. I saw it like three times. Um, I'm not wearing a helmet right now. I don't really wear one that much when I like ride on trails. I'm also not going very fast. I always make a point to wear a helmet if I'm like going to be riding um, on like concrete or something. Oh my god, my one wheel. <laughs> Sometimes this like doesn't activate. I've noticed it does this with like people who have like small feet. <laughs> like I've had um, my niece, well, yeah, she's my, she's my niece by marriage, yeah. My niece, she was riding my one wheel and then like her um like another little kid was riding it they were both struggling i feel like the the pads don't like sense either small feet or i don't know but it doesn't do that to braxton <laughs> i'm gonna throw on my pants before i get up next to the parking lot you're going kind of fast seen the creeper again I haven't seen the creeper again actually um Braxton waited till he left so if he's over there again then he came back hold on chat we're traveling through the curse no reception zones oh no okay hold on I'm putting on I wanted to put on my pants real quick before I, I just heard something what the hell I feel like I'm hearing a lot of noises. Oh, I'm always scared a gator's gonna eat me or someone's like hiding out in the fucking woods ready to eat me.
Okay. Wait, did I say she stay with me?